On today's episode, we take a look at a Spartan teacher's secret talent, get ready for Valentine's Day, and much more. The Spartan Times starts now. Welcome back, Spartans, to another episode of the Spartan Times. I'm Ray Lopez, and I'll be your host for today. Our first story comes from Stephanie. She provided us with an exclusive interview of one of our very own Spartan teachers, Mr. Salcedo. He gives us a deep dive into the origins, history, and struggles he encountered as a local artist. Let's take a look. Debuting in 2013 with the band title, The Other Half, Christian, Steven, and Joseph were showcasing shows here in El Paso with other amazing local artists. The music industry is a long journey, but fortunately for all of us, we get to talk with former member, Mr. Salcedo. What inspired it? So it was me and my, I guess I consider him my best friend ever since high school. Uh, we had like a little music room at our high school filled with pianos and a drum set and guitars. Um, and we would just pretty much just pick up the guitars and try to learn by ear. We never really learned like classically. Um, we would take turns learning songs, teaching each other, uh, building our knowledge that way. Um, <laughs> originally the obstacle was uh, being of age, um, but some places would still allow us to play. But that was one of the first obstacles, not really a big deal. Um, I guess kind of big picture for any artist, whether it's music or actual paintings and things of that sort, um, is kind of the exposure, uh, the audience. I feel like El Paso has made improvements in that, but it's still really hard for an artist to, we could say, blow up. Yeah, since high school, so we're talking, wow, 2006, that's just close to 15 years ago. That is it for today. This was Stephanie Lopez signing off. Have a good day, Spartans. What a fantastic story. We love to see the overwhelming amount of creativity within our community. If any other teachers out there have any hidden talents or old hobbies that they want to be shared, then message Ms. Mungia to have us feature you. With the return of students and staff to our school campuses, safety is going to continue to be our number one priority. Our next story, provided by Maya, gives us all a refresher on the correct precautions to follow as we return to ensure the safety of yourself and others around you. Hello Spartans! As the new semester begins, students back at school must take precautions to keep themselves and others safe. Let's ask some of the administrators and teachers about what they do and how they keep the school clean and safe for others. I'm Mr. Franco, I'm a CTE business teacher here. Uh, I think safety measures are awesome. They've really, really gone out of their way. Uh, the arrows in the hallways, the sections taped off, the classrooms, we have social distancing in the classrooms, as well as we have the, the cubbies with the, the plexiglass. Um, I think they've really done everything they can. Um, the, we have the checks at the front. Um, I don't think that they could be doing anything more. I think it's really well done and we could say for students that are back, Everything possible is being done, and we are looking at teachers and student safety and everything from ventilation. Again, uh, everything's being done to the best that it can be, and it's a great job that they are doing. I think the school district has been doing a great job of keeping all the staff and all the students safe as we return back to campus. 
I've been really impressed with the way we have to check in with eSwipe, the way that we have to uh, have our temperature checked, and it's been a very smooth system coming back to campus. At the end of each class period, when a student is leaving my classroom, uh, we disinfect uh, where they're sitting in the class, uh, make sure it's nice and clean so that when the next students come in, um, they have a clean area to sit at. Not only that though, but a lot of the classrooms have great social distancing put in place where many students are able to sit uh, six feet apart from each other, so everything is safe in terms of uh, where they are inside of the classroom. And for me, as the teacher, I do feel safe because I get to sit behind a plexiglass um, section here in my classroom. Uh, the students are also more than six feet away, so everybody's safe. And we're here to learn, we're here to have fun, we're here to be able to uh, learn as much as we can. For those who are wondering when they might go back to school, Assistant Principal Ms. Valenzuela helped us answer these questions. Hi there, I'm Ms. Valenzuela, Assistant Principal here at Pebble Hills. Um, I do have a few questions that students are wondering about. The first question for me is, when may other students go back and what must they do when entering the building? Well, right now, it's COVID days. So we're in unprecedented times right now. So unfortunately, I can't give you like a, a full date on when we are coming back. But right now, I know that SISD is considering safety first. And then we wait for uh, the district and the hospitalization rates that we have in El Paso County. And that what, that's what determines if we come to school, all of us all together on the green track. The next question is, what must you do when you enter the building. So when you do start entering the building, basically um, you're in the main office area as you enter the front of the school. You enter the front, you'll be greeted by a, a, a staff member to take your temperature. And then we do have these little carts. And now on the carts, we have a laptop. We'll double check your e-swipe. If for some reason you're not sure how to get e-swipe uh, completed, we do have our our personnel that's up front and they will assist you with that so then every day you're able to do that yourself. So we're here to help you in regards to that. Um, those are all the questions that I have for now. Thank you so much and stay safe out there. Thank you. Great, now I know what to do to keep myself COVID free at school. Thank you Maya for providing us with such an informative video and thanks to all the people that take this advice to keep everything safe and clean for everyone. Today's February 12th. And you know what that means. Valentine's is only two days away, and I know for a fact some of you heard that and internally freaked out realizing you forgot to get a gift for your loved ones. Well, no need to fear. Abby's here to save the day with a tutorial on homemade Valentine's gifts that anyone can make from home. Thank you. 